welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing um, a fall barn vlog. I am here a little bit early. I have a lesson later today that I have to teach. Um, but um, I'm going to eat some lunch and then I'm going to grab the boys so that they can eat their lunch. Hi, Dash. You gonna come on? You ready to eat? <laughs> I know you are. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. She's gonna stop and eat grass. on my way down at the top of the hill. I was hoping, beyond all hope, that because he saw me, he would try to come down, at least, Lord have mercy, halfway down. Um, I'm not sure how far he got, because he definitely started walking after me. Um, he could have just gotten as far as that gate up there, and if that's the case, I have to walk all the way back up, so, yay me. So he actually did come about halfway. He's right there. He can hear me, but he can't tell where I'm coming from. Rio! Come on! You know where you're supposed to go. 
He can't see me. He just neighed, so I think he can see me. Hi, Rio. Come on. <sighs> yeah, come on. Let's go. Let's go get something to eat. I know he realizes it's me because he'll nicker. Hi, are you hungry? Let's go. On that hill, uh, I don't recommend if you're just eating. Here comes Rio. Hi, are you gonna come to the gate? Ugh. Yeah. Not when you've just eaten. Oh my Lord have mercy. Hi. Are you hungry? Uh, I know. Gosh, I'm sorry guys. I'm breathing so freaking hard. I didn't even have to do that much. It's just... Oh Lord. Hi baby. You ready? There you go. Let's go on. You know how they talk about grass is greener on the other side? Well, he knows that I'm getting him to eat in the barn, but he goes straight for the grass. It's like, oh, this grass is so much better, which I think it actually is. Mostly because there aren't horses grazing on it all the time. Rio! Come on! Hey! Come on! Oh. You're gonna make me come down and get you? Come on! Let's go! Come on! No, come on! Oh, we're fine. Yeah. You know where you're going. Goob. That's what you get for not picking up your feet. There's only one stall door open. You don't have options. And yet you're gonna look and make sure you don't have options, of course. <laughs> Rio, where are you going? Where, <laughs> where are you going? Right here, buddy. Only stall door that's open. Right here. No, this one. Yes, good job. Jeez. He's a goob sometimes. And now we just wait for everybody to finish. And then me and Dash are gonna do a ride. And um, Rio has a lesson later, so we'll be back to that in a second. Oh, do not like this angle. That's better. <laughs> Gotta get my good side. All right, Dash is done. He is waiting impatiently for me to get him out. I'm gonna pack up and we're gonna ride. You can make sure, Chad. <laughs> well, let's get started. from the ground because I try to save their backs and just get on on a little stool but I do need to practice my up from the ground so beware I can't stretch
It's so pretty out here. Oh my gosh. Ooh. seen like the top part of my t-shirt um this is a bleach shirt uh from the show bleach yes i am an anime fan slash um nerd and a cowgirl i know it's kind of weird i look so sexy with this camera on don't i anyway point is um that's what the shirt is in case anybody i could just see people asking questions what's your shirt well, that's what it is. Yep, I'm a nerd. taking a break I'm just gonna go ahead and tell a little bit of what happened earlier at the barn before we came out here um a lot of people like to think that horses are just you know once you train them they're the same every day and there's nothing to worry about there's no kind of unexpected things or whatever um horses have personalities horses have bad days they have problems with their feet they have all kinds of stuff that can happen one thing that happened earlier was I was trying to clean out his feet. As I was cleaning out his front foot, he was already jerking out of my hand, which is really weird for him to just like pull it out of my hand. So I was just watching him, seeing if there was anything that maybe like he was in pain or anything like that. It didn't seem to be so. So I moved on to the back foot, got the back foot up, cleaning it out, trying to let it sit down so it's not like he's pulling it way up like this. Well, he keeps cranking his leg up. And I'm like, what are you doing, sir? Like, what are you trying to do? So he jerks his foot out of my hand and then sits back on his butt and pulls on the lead rope. Thank goodness, nothing broke, nothing pulled. He didn't get loose. He stopped, stood back up and then he was just mad. And so one thing that I do if he's just being stubborn like that, because I tried to check and see if there was any pain, he didn't act like there was. So I was like, okay, so you're just doing this because you're pissed that you have to sit here. Because sometimes that can happen too. He has an attitude sometimes. So I just took him out in front of the barn. There's a big green patch of grass out there. It's kind of big, it's kind of circular. And I lunged him and I made him work. Um, when you do that, you're teaching them that bad behavior equals more work. And for them, they want to relax. They want to enjoy themselves. I mean, we work because we have to, not because we necessarily always enjoy being out of breath or anything like that. So <laughs> I worked him out, got him running around, got him on his feet, took him back inside and started doing his feet again. Now, here's another sign that it wasn't a pain issue. When I picked up his foot, he just let me have it, let me do my thing, went to the other feet, no problems. He didn't act like he was in pain, nothing like that. So, 
he realized that it wasn't worth the effort of work to continue to act up. And that's one thing that we have to teach horses. It's kind of the same thing with kids. You know, is it worth you continuing to defy me? <laughs> like, is it worth it? I'm not going around beating animals. I'm just showing him that he has to work hard to do whatever he wants. I want it to be as hard for him to do what he wants as possible and easy for him to just comply and do what he's supposed to. Just another thing. Just because it looks like everything's perfect on video does not mean it is. Everybody has these issues. He hasn't had an issue like that in months, like over six months. So I was kind of surprised.
gonna get one of those out of the way. I know that feels good. <sighs> just walk all the way to the end, go back around, and we'll be done. It's a good workout for today. time before the student gets here so I'm letting the boys get a munching on in this supposed better grass than the one in their own pastures <laughs> while we wait because somehow the grass in their pastures is just nothing compared to this magnificent outdoor grass all right we just have a few more minutes before our student gets here to ride Rio so we got him all tied up and he'll be ready for her to brush and throw in a saddle. All right, the lesson is over. It was a success. Um, she learned to trot for the first time today and I know that's really scary and she did a great job. So now we're headed home. Good to see you guys. Hope you have a great week. I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you.